Number 109 from the Indicator Collection is The Mad Magician. I was kind of kicking myself that I never picked this up straight away when it came out because, well, it's Vincent Price and it took me until the latest sale to actually eventually pull the trigger on this one. And it's a really quick movie to get into. 72 minutes, you've got a young Vincent Price who I think just is wonderful in some of these early roles. He plays Mr. Galico, an aspiring magician who also happens to be the man that creates a lot of gadgets that are used for uh, the stage shows. And as he's about to give a performance with this buzzsaw type device, he is stopped by the man that owns his contract. He will not allow him to perform because he doesn't feel that he's a showman and he wants to give that trick to somebody else. Uh, the great Drambaldi, who can give a little bit more panache to it. And as we discover, uh, this character, Ormond, who controls uh, Galico, has also stripped away a lot of his life. He, he picked him up, gave him a job, stole Galico's wife, kind of kept him under the thumb, and is controlling him even now, not allowing him to grow or to perform or to even show the, the, the tricks that he makes and this just is the breaking point for Glico and he snaps killing Ormond and uh, disposing of the body in a wonderful fashion but being such a talented creator as Glico is he makes a mask of Ormond and uh, parades around the city as him for a little while until that is Ormond's wife discovers this ruse and it's up to Glico to now kill her as well and all the while we have this investigator who is trying to get to the bottom of these deaths we have the owners of a, a kind of a boarding house who took in the fake hormone for a little while who, whose wife happens to be a mystery writer and you get that sense of a, a Miss Marple character with, with her sidekick being her husband which is thrown in here and it just has all these different kind of moving parts that are really good. So you've got Vincent Price wearing various makeups that are all excellent, uh, giving various performances as these different characters. It's a little bit more gory, intense than a movie you would expect from this period. You've got some really nice twists and turns and some nice tense sequences in amongst it. And you have the addition of these wonderful side characters all who elevate the story and this becomes a little bit more than just your typical genre flick. You've got a wonderful performance by Vincent Price as Gilly Cole, the man who's driving this forward and it is one that is tinged with sadness as well. A man who believes that he could be good, great, even if he was just given the opportunity. He's got the smarts, he's got the brain but he doesn't have the killer instinct to really take it away from these people uh, who do have that instinct and who want to strip him down uh, and take away all his good stuff using it for their own. Now this is a 3D disc which I don't have a 3D setup so I've not been able to check out that. It's got a couple of extras that I want to mention. Uh, two short films starring the Three Stooges. You get Spooks and Pardon My Backfire. These are both in 2D and in 3D. I watched the 2D versions, they're only 15 minutes each. Spooks is, is a really fun one where they're just in a kind of house that's haunted almost. Uh, very slapsticky and the silly things driving towards the camera. The same with Pardon My Backfire where they are uh, working in a garage and it's just a setup for lots of gags and jokes but just, just throwing these into a disc just shows that the extra mile that indicator are willing to go to and just elevates the extras as well. There's a load of other extras on there, but those are just a couple of fun, interesting ones that I thought I'd want to mention. The Mad Magician was really interesting, really fun. I had a little bit more going on than your typical movie of that time. Had some really good ideas, some really good performances and sub-characters, which is always a plus because sometimes they forget to focus on these characters in these kind of movies. And Vincent Price, as always is absolutely tremendous. So I'd love to know your thoughts on The Mad Magician. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.